sometimes when you try to solve a radical equation, uh, you get something that becomes a quadratic. Uh, and this is the case in a problem like this one. And all you have to remember is that uh, if you get a quadratic, you'll have a couple of solutions. You have to test both of those solutions in the original problem to make sure they both make sense in that original problem. So when we solve a radical equation, we typically try to get the radical sign on one side alone and then square both sides of the equation. We're going to do the same thing here. So we'll square this side and we'll square this side. And we're going to get 5y plus 6 equals y squared. So we've got a y squared term here. This is a quadratic equation. To solve this, we want to get everything over on one side and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 5y, and I'm going to subtract 6. And we're going to get 0 equals y squared minus 5y minus 6. Now let's see if we can maybe factor this one. It's negative here, so I know it's going to be one of these is going to be plus, and one of these is going to be minus. The first term is just y squared, so this is y and y. And then it has to be factors of 6, and they have to add up to a negative 5. So that would be uh, minus 6 and a positive 1. Yeah, that looks like it works. So those are our factors. We'll set both of those equal to 0. So y plus 1 equals 0, and y minus 6 equals 0. When we solve those, we get y equals negative 1 or y equals positive 6. So we've got two possible solutions here. We just need to check those in the original equation. So if I take 6 and plug it in here, let's say I'd get 5 times 6. That's 30 plus 6 is 36. Take the square root of that. You get 6, and that equals 6. Oh, OK, so 6 equals 6. That makes sense. Let's put the negative 1 in. So 5 times negative 1 is uh, negative 5 plus 6 is 1. Take the square root of that. You get 1. And I would get, oh, I would get 1 equals a negative 1. And that's not true. So this solution does not work, and we will not include it. So the only solution that we're going to give here is that y equals 6. So that's a little bit of work with uh, solving a radical equation that becomes a quadratic when you try to simplify it.